Okay, hey guys. I was asked by a YouTuber their YouTube, I'm just checking up now. Sorry about this, I didn't get it ready. It is Dr. Redstoner. That's their YouTube channel. I'll probably tag them in this video. But they wanted me to do a tutorial on how to do this, where it can come out and be dragged back in. I'm not sure if this is exactly how they want it to be done, but this is how I've done it. So they can use this as inspiration, or if it's completely hopeless, then they can try and find a different tutorial. But so far, I forgot to get everything, so I'll just get a few things, and I'll show you how I set mine up. Crap, I forgot some pistons, I'll just have to invent. Okay, pistons. Here we go. Okay, so you need a power source. In this case, um, we're going to be using a lever. And I think we're going to put it here that the piston's going to come out. So first off, you need to get a piston pointing this way. Because that's going to be taking the piston that is just around the corner here. That's what's going to be pushing that backwards and forwards. And you need to apply current straight into it, so it's, as soon as you flick the lever, that's going in. And then what we're going to need to do is place another piston here, which will be pushed out here and then be able to push blocks forward or whatever. And that one needs to be hooked up from back, because it's going to be pushed out here before you want it to be pushed forward. So you're going to apply power from here. So hopefully this isn't too much of a loop, but we've got to put in some redstone repeaters to slow down the signal a bit. And then lastly, because if we turn this on, it'll work, then if we turn it off, this one reacts, uh, retracts first. So I'll just reset this. We need this one to hold its current power state. So to do that, I should probably move this across a bit. I just take this down a bit. I'm digging down so it doesn't interfere with the other redstone circuit. And yeah, that should be good. And you put power back into it. Except for on this side, you're going to put a redstone repeater. So this should work. No, it didn't. Okay. That's my bad. That was slightly different to the way that I did it over on this one. I'll just go have a look at that quickly. So yeah, the power goes on here, it goes directly into there, then it comes up and it... Ah yeah, so that's that way. And this goes around and down. I thought I had it that way, but maybe the delay wasn't long enough or something, so... I'll try and fix that up. Sorry about this, it's not really much of a tutorial rather than me failing. So, put the power here, it goes to that one, so I'm not very good at redstone that much, but I can make some contraptions. I'm reasonably good with how to set up note blocks to play a song, but I've only just started getting into this kind of redstone stuff. So hopefully this is good. Yep. 
So the other one had two repeaters, so I'll try putting two repeaters on. Now hopefully this is going to work. There we go. So as you can see, if you flick this on, this part's going to get lit up straight away, pushing this out and making this piston that I'm standing on go to here. And then at the same time, you're going to have this all light up and go across here. So when the piston gets pushed here, it's going to be pushed out, out this way. And then lastly, you have the third lane of pistons that are coming out here, going across with the delay so that it will remain for longer after you turn it off. Because the idea is to have this the first one and the last one to be turned on and off. So it'll come across here getting delayed and then it will hit this. So by the time that the electricity or the power or whatever this takes, by the time it gets to this piston, this one would already have been retracted since you can't retract open pistons. So I hope this tutorial has helped. And you can just see that it pushes it across. You can probably change the settings on these. I'll see if I can get it to work on the first setting. Yeah, so it's a lot faster there. So yeah, just that theory. It goes t to both, to where the first piston is, and to where the second piston will be. And then it takes a longer route to go around back into the first piston, so it's the last one to retract. So I hope this helped you guys, and stay tuned for more, maybe in-depth redstone tutorials and more custom maps. So I hope you like this.